and welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, I'm Kaz and welcome to the video. Woo! It is so wet, windy and horrid out there. I need a bit more sparkle. I don't know what it is. Every time we get uh, weather, I need sparkle. So we're going to do a nice blue look as you may have gathered in the picture. So let's get on with it. Right, I've turned my glasses on, so let's get something on this face. Now, first, I'm going to go in with the Kat Von D um, Locket Primer, Hydrating Primer. I've already done my skincare today, so we'll just put this on very quickly. Just gives you, oh, I don't know, it, it wakes me up. It's nice and cool. Smells divine, but it's uh, it's really, really nice. Right, um, I'm going to do something different, um, something a little easier, no foundation, uh, just to cover the base of my face. Now I'm going to go in with Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealer, and I'm just going to pop that, obviously to cover up my bags, down the sides of my nose, a bit up there, and also go in with the Naked, oh that's in shade light i think yes light i'm also going to go in with the naked skin urban decay color correcting fluid in green and i'm going to do that down my face there and it just helps with the pores it helps uh, not the pores the oil and it also helps with my red beak it's as red as this blanket on here mm. so we'll grab our brush now the brush i'm using and trying out because i go, bought it at the beauty show is the spectrum B01, it's really good, really good. So I'm going to start with doing my under eyes first. And there we are, all concealed. And uh, I'm not going to go in with foundation, like I said. Sometimes uh, when it's horrid and mm, like this, I just like to put a bare minimum, if you like, on my skin. So I'm going to go in with the number seven. Perfect Light Pressed Powder in medium. This is really good. And this is what I've been doing when I just want to put a quick base on. I use a flat brush and just whizzle it around and just pat it in. And it's good for those days that you know you're going to get wet. You know everything's going to uh, not fall off. But you know everything's just going to get wet and horrid. And I've got to go and pick the, uh, the child up later. And... Uh, Oh, it's, we're just going to get wet and horrid. Wet and horrid. I don't like wet and horrid. <laughs> and then I tap my brush off to go under my eyes. Now, the reason I do this is because when you're getting, 40, well, 40 plus, you need to just keep that. Oh, 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 and it's quick and easy. There we go, you see. We are covered. It's quick and easy. I do tend to put a little bit on my neck because if you can see, I don't know what it is. Tan fading. I don't know. I don't know what it is. But um, it's quick and easy if you just want to do something quick and easy like I do because you guys want to see the look. You don't want to see me put my face of the face on. Now, powder everywhere again. I'm going to go also in, because it's neat, quick and easy with this, um, the Natural Face by Too Faced. I don't know if you've seen this before. You have if you've been on my channel. I love this. But um, I'm going to go in with that and just do a very quick top one there as a quick contour. And mix the two very gently because this is very red um, to do the outer perimeter. And it's just very quick, easy base of the face, as I like to call it. I might just put a little bit more here. A little bit more. No position, position, pos, position. <sighs> Just putting it on so you look more human. And there we go. Voila. On the other side, I'm going to use these two mixed together as a highlight. And we're just going to pop that on my cheeks. 
this is the very end of my nose over my mouth and just a little bit there don't put it there if you i've got lots of pores here but don't put it there up here if you've got pores just put a little bit in there and then the blush we're going to go in with a deeper one today because we're, we're going to be uh, as you saw using blue and we don't want the uh, bright well i suppose you could use a bright pink but i've chosen to use this one and there we go i look a little bit more human now for the eyebrows i have decided and i am using the cyo um brow sculpting pencil i will just pop them on it's just a pencil like that look there we are square so off we go and i'll just pop my eyebrows on and there you go i am still testing this out so it's a little dark what shade did i get i think it was just yeah medium there was no other one there anyway it was light too light medium or the black basically so there we go um we have brows and we're going to go in with my favorite at the moment which is the milani i used to also like um i used to like all my brow products from benefit but as you know they are not cruelty free and i bet you're fed up with me saying that now <laughs> and i'm just going to run that underneath just to sharpen up the underneath of my brows and then i get whoops a daisy things flying all over I'm just going to get my, this is the It Cosmetics, uh, what's it called? Heavenly Looks. It's a dual ended brush and I tend to use this one as you can see. It's looking a little bit worse for wear. But I just tend to use that one just to smooth out the underneath and blend it in that little bit. But there we go. The brows are on. Right. So, on with the eyes. This is the best bit. The bit you've been waiting for and you've been sat looking at me for, I don't know five minutes or so so i'm going to shake this and i'm going to use the shadow insurance by Too faced uh one of my favorite primers at the moment and we're just going to pop that on my eyes and there we go it is primed now in we're going to use today the beauty killer and the androgyny you've not seen these on my channel and they're probably one of the first palettes i did actually buy um the beauty killer and the andro i bought the androgyny first from uh, jeffree star and go look and we're going to be using these two colors and i also bought the beauty killer afterwards for this so we're going to use his white shade which is china white um you know unorganized Hold on, my brush is out everything was gonna drop i want everything to drop Right, just move these palettes out of the way. Organised cas as usual. Not. Um, so we're going to use China White and a big brush, which is a... I don't know. It doesn't say it on there. Do they any, any time say... Anyway, it's an Eco Tools one, flat-ended, and we're just going to pop into China White and set this before it creases. I'm not saying my eyes crease um straight away but i do like to put a bit of a base on just to set the primer a little now if you don't set the primer um the colors stay and well they do stay with the primer what i mean is if you don't set it and you blot your shadow like that it does also uh work but i like to set it because i like to sweep my shadow off and there we go set now, the first shade I'm going to go into, do you know what? It's not my favourite thing, is to keep swapping palettes. But I wanted to group the palettes together when I did these looks. So you get, um, if you've got any of these... You, by the way, if you haven't got any of these palettes at all, don't worry. If you want to copy this look, if you really want to copy this look, you can use any palettes you have and any colours. It doesn't have to be these palettes and blues you can do this look with a completely different color um i had a, a few questions about that do we have to use um cranberry no you don't you can use any colors at all cleaning my mirror still mucky anyway we're going to go in with a nice sweeping brush and i don't mean a floor one 
um, I'm going to use the Urban Decay one. It come out of one of the palettes. Just a nice blending brush and dip into Poison, which is the greeny blue there just to put a base down now it's a bit of a dark base but we're going to go in bright and cheery so i'm just going to put that into the outer corner like so and i'm going to try and do a little bit of a v but i just want that that corner there the crease to have that little bit of a darker shade and just blend that in it is one of the awkward colours out of this palette, but uh, I just want to put a darker colour down in the actual outer V and it's in the crease basically. Something like that. And then we're going to go in with another colour. I'm going to use a wider fluffy brush and we're going to go in with Swallow, which is this colour here. Pretty. And we're just going to sweep that over the top. And then go into... We just opened both palettes hang on bear with me we're going to go into china white again just to blend that outer edge because you know me i don't blend very well but it's not that i don't blend very well it's because it takes a little time with some shadows and i'm usually in a rush <laughs> but just to blend it out i've dipped into china same brush but dipped into china white just to blend how's that looking now let me have a look yes something like that so we've got a nice blue there now the next thing we're going to do is take a flatter brush diggity dig we're going to take a pencil brush we'll take a pencil pencil brush and there's this that's called expensive in the other one in the same one that the china white's in beauty killer there's expensive it's nice and sparkly there look god expensive i'm just going to roll the brush in touch it up and just pop that expensive shade in here because it is sparkly I might use a different brush actually, a flat one might be better. But as you can see, it's a little bit more bluey. And we're just going to pop that in the corner here and up. But I wanted it to be more sparkly in this outer corner, as you will find out in a minute. Something like so now fallout hmm. there his fallout is atrocious sometimes there fallout dealt with now um as you can see we have this going on right now and we'll come back to those in a moment now i am going to show you my favorite one from steeler with it's a larger one this time and hopefully it hasn't run out because it is one of my favourites along with the, the other one that we were trying before in our cranberry look. Giving it a good shake. This is called uh, Diamond Dust. It's one of the first ones. Oh, please don't tell me this is run out as well. And in we go with it on this part of the eye. And as you can see, it's sparkly and opaque. And that's what I like about it. Sparkly and opaque. Where's it gone? I lost it. I am running out of this one. Oh, dearie me. But we're just going to pop that onto the lid, as you can see. And I like these stillers because you don't need, you just blend that into the shadow like that. You don't need shadow on the end of it. 
you do not need a glitter glue you could put a glitter glue down if you want to but you don't need a glitter glue so it's just halfway across like that and on the other eye something like that anyway now to make it a little bit different um we are oh, and i can see a silver bits of glitter oh i wanted to be more sparkly didn't i we're going to use the pencil brush again and we're going to go back into that swallow shade which is the darker blue in the corner of the androgyny and we're just going to pop that in the bottom corner just where that v we have made comes down and just smoke it out a little bit at the bottom but not a lot and at the other side just something like that and then take the same brush and we're going to go in to the expensive shade in the beauty killer in the corner there the light glittery blue one and we're just going to pop that here something like that and then we're going to do a something a little different with the alchemy palette from Kat Von D as I said I bleh, maybe smashed it again I bought a new one I have one and I have these shades that I'm very slowly panning but this one here I don't know if you can see it on camera but it's a beautiful blue shimmer it's called blue sapphire and we're going to take my little thin brush at the end of this one and just roll it into that. Go on. It's brand new, so you have to work it. Work it. And we might as well use the mirror on here. And we're just going to pop that into the inner corner. And as you can see, your eyes become awake. You can see now. Well, you will if I put the rest of it on. This awakens your eye. I just, oh, I just love this blue. Now you can see the difference. This one, voila! This one, it's still voila! But we're going to do that in this corner too. It just, I like using these little squishy ends for these. And I just roll it in. Roll it in like that. You can tap it off if you want, but I don't mind glitter everywhere. Don't mind a bit of glitter me. And what we're doing is we're just filling in that corner with this beautiful shade. Something like that. I like. I love that palette. Um, and it's the blue I use the most. So this is why I'm trying to keep that one to one side and try and use the purple, the peach. Uh, we used the peach, didn't we, the cram in the cranberry look. Um, but I'm trying to use the purple, the peach and the green. You'd have thought the green would be the one that I use the most. But actually, it is this one because it is fantastic. Right, then we're going to go in. We can finish with the palettes. Put them away because I always end up dropping things straight into the palette and ah anyway we're going to be using this shade here it's called vega and it is a nice sparkly blue from the moon dust and like i say this time of year i love using these moon dusts um wipe up jumper there we go <laughs> and it's got a nice thin point so when you get the mi mirror it ran off from me what we are going to do is just put it along like a liner along this edge like a liner can you see I don't know if you can we are <laughs> hopefully you can see all the way along like a liner And then we are going to take it up the edge of this shadow like so and across so we're sort of using this as a blue 
liquid eyeliner and to be honest this is a lot easier than doing it with a blue liner can you see that it's very subtle but it does give you that sparkle anywho there you go i'll put it on that side it's very subtle i hope you can see it is subtle but it's there and then we're going to take the blending brush we originally used and just blend this darker bit in because even though it's got a v i don't want the v to be uh well i do i do want it there but i don't want it to be as noticeable as a v well you know what i mean blend it in a little now i've got the shape blend it in and that urban decay moon dust if you touch it don't worry about it it will not go anywhere so we've got something like that very sparkly very christmasy very christmas party very nice now what we've got to do is put a bit of mascara on and lashes so just go and get me uh, lashes right i've got them and i've glued them i'm using uh put glue on them i mean not glued them I'm, going, I'm using the Violet Voss Lashes in Unicorn Flare. You can't see them at the moment because they're down there. <laughs> but that's what the packet looks like. And I'm going to quickly just put Iconic London on. I'm quite liking this with a small brush. It's really easy and gives you thickness straight away. And the other side there we go i wanted to show you uh what it looks like with mascara like that and then hopefully these are dried enough <sighs> and we shall pop these on now the glue i'm using at the moment because i'm just waiting for my boots haul to cut there we go to come but so the glue i'm using at the moment is um the isla one um because is that going in my are you staying now the glue i, I was saying the glue i was using and the reason i got my eyes shut you'll see in a moment is the isla glue um now for some reason and it's never happened to me before it has made my eyes sting now i'm wondering if the isla little pot of glue that i bought um i got it from uh, whew, i need my duo <laughs> this got it from um you know out of a packet but for some reason my god it has made my eyes sore and nearly completely ruined the look typical so let me get these sorted out and i think we'll just stick with mascara back in a mo oh i'm back i think i saved the look um by God, I don't know what was up with that glue. I've used Isla loads of times. I used, um, obviously, the Duo Glue is my favourite, but I have used Isla loads and loads of times. Now, whether it's because my Fleur de Force lashes are up there and I tend to use the Duo and not that one and it gone off, I don't know. But this is the look so far and I am, um, I've just left it with the mascara i was going to have these dramatic lashes but oh no and there you go look there is the look in there right i think i've saved it it's a bit darker under here than what we originally tended but um this is it saved <laughs> so lips now oh lips now i think i may go with the cat von d yeah why not let's have a blue lip we'll pop this on it's echo by the way there we go oh yes festive what i am tempted to do is put a bit of sparkle on it mm, what do you think i don't know 
leave it for the eyes I think my eyes are yeah my poor eyes there we go the lips I really like that Could do with some blue mm. let's see what I've got I just remembered I have got ice cold I'm really is that what it's called? Space Baby from Nikki Tutorials. Could have used that in my inner corner. How? Let's stick some of this on. My cheeks. Got to have a bit of glow, haven't we? Oh. Huh. Mm. Oh, yes. Very nice. Very, 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 um, that's a lot. <laughs> very nice. Space baby. I haven't used that much, but I like that. I like that a lot. So we can wangle the hair down. Woo, it's a frizzy day outside. So there you go. Um, my hair's a little bit more frizzy than normal, but there is the finished look. I really like that. Could have done with a little bit less dark, but we had a bit of a crisis. So there you go. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please like and subscribe if you would like to see more of these crazy tutorials. We also talk some scents too. And um, watch my hair grow because it's got so wet. <laughs> And I shall see you in my next video. Thank you very much for watching and I shall see you soon. Bye.